everybody, I'm Miss Allie. Thanks again for joining us on Kids Corner, channels 20 and 100 on Armstrong Cable. So today we're at Hilltop Elementary School and we've got numbers one through 10, caterpillars and butterfly wings and a few things in between. So stay tuned for two fun stories and a very cool 10 Little Caterpillars art project. Today is all about the numbers one through 10, caterpillars and butterfly wings, and a little bit of everything in between. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So how are you today? Good. Good. Well, like I said, I'm Miss Aline, and we're here with Armstrong Cable, Kids Corner on channels 20 and 100. And I am very happy to be here at Hilltop today with you guys. So, are you ready? Yeah. We have two very fun stories, and then we have, like I said, our very fun art project. And I wanna know something from you guys. And this time you're about to, you're about to be able to just tell me. You don't have to raise your hand for this one. Does everybody know how to count from one to 10 here? Yeah. I'm not sure if I remember right now. I think I do. I'm pretty sure I remember how to count from one to 10. But can you tell me? So let's all do it together. Ready, set, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. I used the wrong fingers and I was trying to hold my book so it was hard because you know how you get to certain fingers and you can't hold them up without the other ones? Yeah, so. I think you guys all know how to count from one to 10. That's spectacular. Give yourselves a really quick hand. All right, stop. That's not a hand, that's something else. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started with our story. And our very first story is gonna teach us some things about any caterpillars. Let's go ahead and start with our story. This is Caterpillars. Creepy Critters Caterpillars Rhyme Along. And it is by, let's see, who's it by? Rebecca Rissman. Ooh, that's a really cool color. And it's got a table of contents here and that tells us what's in the book. And our first part of the book is Let's Search. Have you ever seen a caterpillar searching for something to munch? They love to eat anything green, but a leaf is their favorite lunch. And he's saying, yum. You can spot caterpillars on tree branches crawling here and there, especially in the springtime. You'll see them everywhere. And have you noticed something? Are they all the same color so far? No. no, there's lots of different colors of caterpillars. Some caterpillars have stripes to help them hide in the day. Others have spots all over to keep them from danger far away. Some caterpillars are covered in fuzz and some are coated in goo. All caterpillars are different, just like me and you. Ooh, look at that one, he's like. Fuzzy, huh? Um, some caterpillars are the same. Some are the same, but there's lots of different kinds. So just like some of you are boys and some of you are girls, the boys are all boys and the girls are all girls. So some of you are the same and some of you are different, but you're all kids. Just like they're all caterpillars and some of them are all a big family of yellow caterpillars and some of them are all spotted caterpillars, but they're all caterpillars, right? And then some of them, of course, are different from each other. And even the ones that are the same are a little bit different from each other, right? Are all the boys in this room the same? Do they all look like twins? 
Even when you have twins, they're not exactly the same. Did you know that? All caterpillars have six real legs, but it looks like even more. They use their legs to climb and grip and crawl across the floor. A caterpillar has a big, strong jaw, which it uses to chomp on plants. Wow, that's a big, strong jaw. How many leaves can a caterpillar eat? What about a whole branch? They might if they took long enough. Caterpillars are only baby insects. They aren't fully grown. Caterpillars change into moths or butterflies. Then they fly off on their own. And that one's a moth and this one's a butterfly. That's a pretty butterfly. And a very cool moth too, huh? Before caterpillars can learn to fly, they have lots of work to do. They make a cocoon to hang inside, then they change into something new. That one's a butterfly, and that's a caterpillar, and that's what it looks like in a cocoon. Do you have a question? When they go in a cocoon, they turn into a butterfly. Yep, and I think the book is gonna talk about that in a second. I'm gonna take two more questions, right here. Um, a cocoon is like a blanket. It is kind of like a blanket for a caterpillar. How about you, way in the back? Um, caterpillars sometimes like too much in the backyard or garden. They do, they like to eat gardens and sometimes they kind of are um, not really the friends for you if you've actually planted vegetables. I've planted things before and the caterpillars got it and made holes all in it and we couldn't even use it and eat it after. That wasn't fun, but they had fun, I bet. So let's go ahead and finish our story, okay? Because we have one more story and then we have a very fun caterpillar art project. Moth wings are dull in grays and browns. Butterfly wings are bright. If you spot them flying by, they're a delightful sight. Counting caterpillars. How many caterpillars, moths, and butterflies can be found on these two pages? Now look, I'm gonna have somebody raise their hand and tell me. Can you all see? One of you, tell me how many butterflies you see. So take a second and count them and tell me how many butterflies you see. Now let me hear from somebody I haven't heard from yet. So if I've talked to you and you've raised your hand already, then put your hand down, okay? You right here. <gasps> That's right, there are two butterflies and I see one there and I see one there. Now, can you tell me how many caterpillars there are? Let me get somebody I haven't talked to yet. You right here. Um. One. Let's see, um, I think there's more caterpillars. Can somebody else tell me how many caterpillars you see? Uh, did I talk to you yet? Okay, you right here. Um, two. Oh, I think we're still missing some. Okay, let me see, somebody I haven't talked to. Um, let me get somebody from the back. You right there in the pink shirt. Yep. Please? No, we're still a little bit away from where we uh, should be. Count them, take a look, and then let me see. Somebody I haven't talked to yet. Um, let me go in the front right here. Four? There are four caterpillars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so then you were both right. Very good. Did it, how many people counted four? Cool, all right. So now, how many moths do you see? Can you all see? <coughs> okay, let me see. Let me go to this side of the room. You right there. 
There is one moth. Very good. And it is, where is our one moth at? <gasps> there it is. It's on our tree. Did you know that a caterpillar has no bones in its body? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you do. So that was our very first story, and now we've got one more story, and I'm sure that I'll hear from the, those of you who I haven't heard from yet. So if you have answered one of my questions, then don't raise your hand when I ask a question, okay? I'm not ready to ask a question yet, so just hold on. And this story is called 10 Little Caterpillars, and it's by Bill Martin Jr. Together, let's see how many caterpillars are on this co um, cover of this book. Let's start here. Excellent. Give yourselves a quick hand. All right, now stop. Good job. The first little caterpillar crawled into a bower. The second little caterpillar wiggled up a flower. The third little caterpillar climbed a cabbage head. <laughs> and right there we see a little beetle and a winter squash and a toad. <laughs> the fourth little caterpillar found a melon bed. <laughs> and over there we see his friends the ladybugs and we see a honeydew melon and a musk melon and a watermelon. Okay, the fifth little caterpillar sailed a garden pool. <laughs> so what comes after fifth? Uh, don't yell out, don't yell out. Somebody I haven't heard from, if you've answered a question already, put your hand down. How about you in the pink shirt right there? What comes after fifth? Six. Excellent, good job, all right. So let's see what our sixth little cater caterpillar is doing. The sixth little caterpillar was carried off to school. <laughs> and here we see a spider and we see a monarch chrysalis, which means that there's going to be a monarch butterfly coming out of that one day. And that is monarch eggs. And that is milkweed plant. The seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. Uh-oh. And we see thistle plant and our friend the grasshopper over there. And a dragonfly. All right, the seventh little caterpillar met a hungry wren. And now we're going to go to, what comes after seventh? Eighth. The eighth little caterpillar was frightened by a hen. Uh-oh. <laughs> and there's a winter squash over there. What comes after eighth? Somebody who I haven't heard from. Raise your hand. Um, you right here. Ninth. Very good. The ninth little caterpillar fell into the sea. <laughs> What comes after ninth? Raise your hand. You right here. Tenth. That's right. Excellent job. The tenth little caterpillar scaled an apple tree. <laughs> All right. And hung there patiently. And that's a tiger swallowtail chrysalis. That's another something that will one day become a butterfly until by and by the tenth little caterpillar and we see our friend Mr. B or Mrs. B became a butterfly. 
So, let's count together again. Good job, guys. All right, so, and actually, that's where the rest of our numbers were. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. All right, I have a question. How many fingers do you have on one hand? Raise your hand. Somebody I haven't heard from, so if I've I've called on you already, then put your hands down. I think I called on you already, didn't I? Okay. Uh, five. That's right. We have five fingers on one hand, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. This time I did them right. Five, right? Yeah. Okay. How many fingers do we have with both of our hands together? Raise your hand. Somebody I haven't heard from yet. Way in the back with the gray shirt right there. Ten. I, oh, I'm sorry. Did you have, what answer did you have? Uh, Young lady with the gray shirt? Twisting your hair? How many fingers do I have together? Ten. Ten, that's right. So we have 10 fingers together. So you were both right, very good. And you both had gray shirts on, so I could see why that could get a little confusing. So we have 10 fingers total. How many caterpillars were there? 10. 10, that's right. So what we're gonna do today is we are going to make our own picture with 10 little caterpillars. And I'm gonna show you how to do it. And we're gonna use five fingers or five fingerprints to make our caterpillars. Sound fun? And they can be all sorts of colors. And I will show you how that is going to be made. So let's go ahead and are you ready to head over to our tables? Yes. All right, let's go. Do you see that they're all made of one, two, three, four, five? One, two, three, four, five circles. See that? Okay, so that's how we are going to make our caterpillars look. Don't worry about the antennas, we'll get to that next. But right now I need to give you all paint and don't touch the paint yet until I give you your next instructions, okay? finger and dip it in one color paint and you should just have paint on your fingertip like this all right now you are going to take your paper you are going to put one fingerprint and you're gonna lift it right back off so you'll make one little dot on your paper with your finger
our Q-tips are going to help us make our antennas. Can everybody see up here where I've got my caterpillar? Okay, so I want all of you to take your Q-tip and dip it gently into your black paint. Figure out which side you want the head of your caterpillar to be on. For me, it's gonna be this one. So, can everybody see me? Yeah. All right. You're gonna put your Q-tip, don't smoosh it, just stick it right there on the top of the head and go up. And then once you get to the top, go like that and then lift it off. Hey everybody, I want to say thank you for joining us for Kids Corner on Armstrong Cable channels 20 and 100. Today we have been at Hilltop Elementary School with the kindergarten class and we've been doing numbers 1 through 10 and caterpillars and butterfly wings and everything in between. So I'm Miss Aline and until next time, don't forget, keep tuning in keep all that art going, and don't forget to read your stories and visit your local library. And until then, we say goodbye. goodbye.